Hi, my name is Alex with Tech Tech Tutorials, and today we're going to be talking about the audit log in Jira. I'm going to show you the different audit logs that are available to you, and I'm going to give you my two cents as to why I think they suck. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. Also, drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, or comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, before we jump into the video, three quick announcements. One, I got merch, so if you want to support the channel financially, make sure you check out the description below because it contains a link to the merch store where you can get one of many different designs that I have. You can get one of each, one for all your coworkers, one for all your team. Have a little fun with it. They're really nerdy. I love them. And show off your love for Jira like I do. A second announcement is that I now have paid courses. So if you're interested in leveling up your Jira game, if you want to become a Jira master, whether you want to become a better Jira administrator or a better Scrum master, I like to say put the master into Scrum master then make sure you check out the link below because I now have those courses that are going to help you get better. They're, they're personally taught by me, so you know you're not going to go wrong and you're going to learn a lot, I promise. And finally, subscribing to the channel and liking this video does help the channel grow tremendously. It helps more people see these kinds of videos. So help the community out, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free for you and just help everybody get access to these videos. All right, let's jump into today's video. All right, so there's two types of people that are going to be really interested in this video. One, if you're a Jira admin, you're going to want to know what the audit log contains. What can you see in the audit log and what are you allowed to audit? And two, if you're a Jira user, which I'm assuming is 99% of the rest of you, you're going to be able to see what your admin can see. So you'll be able to kind of find out where the gray areas are, if you will. So let's jump into Jira here and let me take you to the audit log. Now, there's two different types of audit logs. One is going to be really easy to get to. You can come over to the gear here and we're going to click on system. When we click on system, there's a troubleshooting and support section here and there's an auto log over here. So when you click on this, this is going to take you to the auto log. Now, a couple of things that you can do. One, we have some actions so we can change the settings of our auto log, which will tell us which, how long we want to retain these things for. So depending on what legalities you have in your company, you may need to hold them for a month, three months, or six months. Again, check with your legal department to figure that out. Some people have just, again, legal requirements that they have to retain data for a certain amount, or data has to expire after a certain time for plausible deniability purposes. Next, you have the, the documentation. So if you want to go get more familiar with what you can do, and if you want to just get more and familiar with whatever's beyond this video, I'll make sure to include this link in the description below so that you can go and check it out and read this at your leisure. And then finally, let's actually talk about the audit log. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a big fan of this audit log. It doesn't actually give me anything beneficial. As you can see here, it shows us different event categories. So we got projects and we got workflows, we got fields and user management. So, I mean, it's not completely useless. It is useful to a certain degree. But you can see, you'll at least be able to see who archives projects, show more to get a little bit more detail. I actually won't show that because it shows my IP address, but click on show more and you'll figure out which IP address and where in the world this individual made the change. Same thing happens with the workflows. So every time that you click on these show mores, all it's going to do is give you a little bit more information as to where that user was and obviously it tells you when that change happened. But you'll notice that this is really restricted, right? So I can see when versions were updated. So this is when an admin or a project admin added a version. I can see when an admin changed the workflow. I can see when a new user was added. I can see when the version was updated, but I really can't see a whole lot of other stuff. This is really some high level things that are restricted to just components, projects being created, projects being deleted, projects being archived and workflows being updated. So unless you are interested in that, so this is really, really high level, right? So this is like super admin level, unless you're interested in this, it doesn't show you more user level stuff. So it doesn't show you the transitions that users made for that. You still need to go into the Jira project itself and basically look through the whole history there. This lot log is great. If you just want to see some super high level activities that typical admins do. So this is good because the benefit of this is if you're, if you have a different admin, maybe you have a team of admins and somebody accidentally deletes something, you have the proof here to go look at finger point and figure out who did it. You can also export this log, which is really cool. 
it's really really uh, helpful and uh, in case again you're being audited or whatever for compliance you can definitely come in through this log here and see what happened who did what so that's the first audit and so now if you're a Jira user as you can see your transitions and your ticket updates and stuff like that there those are not going to be captured this is the view that admins can see okay the other type of audit happens over here in the user management section so if i basically redirect myself over to admin.alaskan.com let me log in for a second all right so if you go to admin.alaskan.com you do have a second auto log which i'm going to blur almost everything because it is very personal and i don't want you to see it but if you click on security and you come over here to audit log you're going to be able to see different things like the date of the, the transaction of whatever occurred, the location, again, the IP address, the person who did the change, and then the activity that was done. Now, keep in mind that these activities are super, super high level. These are at the organization level. So you're talking about things being like groups that are created, users being added to a group, data being copied from one instance of Jira to another, sandboxes being created. So typically the stuff that happens in admin.atlassian.com those are the kind of things that are tracked up there. You do have the ability to export that file as well. There is a link that I'll also include in the description below that basically walks you through way more detailed information as to what you see. Now, obviously, if you're a regular Jira user, you'll probably never need to worry about this audit log as this audit log is actually really high level. And so for that reason, this is why I'm titling this video why I think the audit log is useless because it helps us track admin level things which is fine. I, I appreciate that. And as administrators, we sometimes make mistakes. And for auditing from a compliance perspective, it's great to have access to these logs so that you can figure it out. What I don't find useful at all, though, is most of my headaches and my problems as, a, as an administrator isn't because I made a mistake or because my coworker made a mistake. It's usually because some user made a mistake and now I got to go troubleshoot what happened. And I wish there was an auto lock for that. I wish I could see that some user deleted something or that they updated a field or that they did something in, at their level, at, at the user level, because that would give me a lot of insight into troubleshooting how do I fix the problems? Because today I have to go and open up issues. I got to try to reverse engineer things. I have to go and like play like an investigator game where I got to listen to everybody's version of their story as to figuring out what happened. And then through it, all that information, through all these signals, then I put together a, oh, okay, so this is probably what happened. And then I figure out how to fix it. But if there was a, a log that was more beneficial, kind of like basically taking the activity logs that are an issue, but giving me a, an admin view, that I think would be a lot more beneficial. Just the logging that is just available to me, again, is great from an admin perspective for admin-like activities but I don't typically make mistakes, so it doesn't really help me. I'm mainly trying to figure out somebody else's mistakes and they're not admins either. So anyways, that's it for this video. This is what you can see in the audit log. So if you're using the audit logs and, and maybe you're using them for different reasons that I am, I'd love to know in the comment section below, let me know. And if you found this video valuable and maybe you never knew that there was an audit log, I'd like to know as well. Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already, and you made it this far in the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you get value of this video. Don't forget to check out the links below because I am going to be including a lot of links here. And most importantly, I got the merch store. Go help out support the channel. And finally, 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 check out the courses if you want to level up your Jira skills to the next level. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.